Hey everybody, working on this 2011 Dodge Nitro with the 3.7 EKG V6 and I'm pretty sure I moved the crank after I had the heads off. This is cylinder number one and I want to make sure when I put everything back together because it's too late once the timing covers on especially since you have to silicone it um, to you know rectify the situation if you have it a couple degrees off uh, maybe maybe you could but I'm, I don't want to go there so I got out my magnetic base for the dial indicator put the dial indicator on the piston and now uh, it's it's really sunny out here so I'm sorry the dial indicator isn't that visible but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the crank forward and I'm gonna see where uh, where the dial stops and starts going back down okay going back down so I'm gonna go back counterclockwise again huh? okay well I need to go forward again okay as the dial is adjusted right now, it stopped and came back down about 14 and a half. So what I'm going to do is go back. Now I'm going to go forward again until it gets to 14 and a half. All right, it's pretty close. Okay, now I'm going to zero the indicator here. And keep in mind, any pressure on this stand is going to skew the measurement. Alright, so now it's at zero. Okay, I'm gonna go backwards. Now I'm coming forward again. Okay. Okay, well, I got it pretty dang close. Let me get it right on the money here. All right. So now I am sure that this piston is at exactly top dead center. And now I can put the heads on and index the cams properly without worrying that as soon as I start it, I'm gonna crash the valves into the head. So, you know, it's worth getting one of these, and one of these, just to for peace of mind if you had the cylinder head off. So, anyway, thanks for watching.